I gave you $5. Yes, you did. That was you. That's Can right. Can you do me one more favor, please? What's up? I'm doing, I'm taking photos. Do you mind if I take a photo of you? I take a, a picture of you. Damn, look, I'm looking like this. You look good, man. Yeah. <laughs> Tonight we're shooting with the Ricoh GR3 in Atlanta. I've been here for three days working on some video footage, shooting at Cody Rhodes's wrestling training facility. It's been an amazing time, but this is a street photography channel, so let's give you what you guys came here for. And at the end of the video, I'll tell you which photo out of all of them was my favorite. I would like to know if you guys agree. Let's get started. What's up, dude? How you doing? That just won my favorite photo of the night. I gotta look that one back, cuz with the yellow lighting and him smoking, one foot up on the wall. Oh, so cool. What's up? You, you just see me right there, Lee. Yeah. What'd you do? I gave you $5. Yes, you did. That was you. That's Can right. Can you do me one more favor, please? What's up? I need to call my son. See, I, I just got out of prison doing 20 heat. Okay. I ain't killed nobody. I ain't raped nobody. I had three dope charges that way. But anyway, okay. I need to call and let them know that I'm, I'm ready to be picked up. Can you just call the number for me and, and, and put it on speaker? Yeah. See if they pick Hello? up. Hey. Hey, come on the punk hole. Uh, How long you gonna be? Five, ten minutes. All right. Thank you, sir. Cool, man. Hey, I'm doing street photography. Do you mind if I take a photo of you? Uh, what now? I'm doing. I'm taking photos. Do you mind if I take a photo of you? What you doing? Street talk. Uh, street photography. Can I take a, a picture of you? Damn, I look, I'm looking like this. You look good, man. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here. Here we go. I got you, dude. You look great, man. This is my first time in Atlanta. Actually, there's like a lady back here. Here, I'll, ha I'll have you stand right here, okay? I want a nice background behind you. What's your name? Rich. Rich? Yes. All right, cool, dude. Well, here, man, I got more for you. All right, thank you, Lord. Yeah, man. I need a blessing. Yeah, man, there you go. Thank you. God Take it easy, man. Stay safe back here. All right, you too, man. Yes. Thank you. Yep, have a good one. So I ran into Rich before I was recording out here and I gave him $5 and uh, I didn't ask him for a photo at that time, but I'm glad I ran into him again. Seems like a super nice guy. Again, Atlanta's super cool. Way different from Salt Lake City. A lot more people out. There's a lot of people just walking around saying what's up. And, uh, like I've said, I've been here a few days and it's a beautiful city. I went with the Rico option just because it's a little bit more discreet, obviously. It's not as big as my Sony a7R5 or any lens for that matter. And so in a new city, even though I might stand out like a sore thumb, it still protects me from looking like a total target with expensive camera equipment. Oh, looks like we got a dog park and some street art. All right, let's photograph. 
just noticed my voice cracked right there. It looks like we got a dog here too. Cosmo, tailgate homecoming king. All right, let's take a picture of Cosmo. We'll have to brighten that up a bit. Oh, this right here? Okay, cool. There it is, thank you. This is really cool. Yeah. Really, really cool. And down here, there is some more wall art. I wonder if you can exit this way. It looks like there is a gate over here. But I saw this driving through it looks like there's a padlock here. I'm gonna just hop this fence, actually. Looks like I could just walk it, but why not just hop it? And this looks like a private parking lot, so hopefully I don't get in too much trouble. I know they had it fenced off on the other side, but let's uh, see how well this 35-year-old hops fences. Maybe I'll bust my ass, maybe I won't. Who knows? <clears throat> oh, sketchy. Oh, there we go. We made it. All right, let's photograph the wall art down here. There's a security vehicle over there. And there's a post right there. So I'm gonna pull the camera out real quick. And we're gonna take a photo of this wall back here. So this is cool. I don't know if you guys can see the wall art, but it's a criminal with like a sack hiding. And then there's a police chasing him and it's got a heart. Really, really cool piece of artwork. I'm gonna try and photograph it. Probably won't get the whole thing just because of this car. Let's see how this turns out. Okay, I'm gonna back up a little more. I'm gonna try to go horizontal rather than vertical. Maybe see what that looks like. And hopefully that looks okay. But really, really cool pieces of art. I was driving by yesterday and I threw a pin on this location because the artwork it's just so cool. Sometimes you can pick up on the symbolism pretty quick. Other times you can't. So right now I'm just trying to get these photos before I'm noticed. In Utah, where I'm from, where I live, they cap the uh, height of a skyscraper out there because they don't want to impede on the views of the mountain. So when you go to Salt Lake City and you think to yourself, man, this downtown is really weak and really tiny, it's actually um, something that was put into place uh, so that we wouldn't you know, cut off the views of the mountains. Out here in Atlanta, where there's really no mountains or hills, it doesn't matter. Build up. Looks cool. So again, we got more wall art here. Just looks super cool. Hey, how's it going? A little cash symbol. Check this out though. So I think the symbolism could be like 
You know, he's losing his love trying to get this big bag of money. So, yeah, definitely symbolism. Losing your self, maybe in the pursuit of money. It's a really cool piece. If you guys saw in the last video, I ran into a street artist who was kind of scoping out his area, looking for a cool place to tag, do some wall art. And it's cool, man. It's You feel like Spider-Man out here, surveying and getting info. Okay, see, so the stop sign here is in the shot, so I'm gonna get a little closer and just photograph this door. Try to frame it up nicely. Plenty of light so you don't have to bump up the ISO. But yeah, makes you wonder what this building could have been. And you know I love abandoned buildings. Maybe one of these days I'll dare to go inside. But check this out. So the second floor, yeah, just completely gone. The roof's completely gone. So you see the skyscraper through the second level there. Kind of cool. It's a blend of that old with the new. So that could be a cool photo. Oh, this is awesome, man. I've been having a lot of fun in Atlanta. It's another boarded up wall. Let's take a photo here. Get a little closer. Again, blending that old with the new. See the skyscraper up top. Again, I love the skyscrapers, man. You look up, such cool buildings. Should we go down a alleyway somewhere we don't know? Maybe not, maybe next time. Let's keep walking on the sidewalk here. Oh, we've got a bike. If you watch the channel, you guys know that we always find a cool bike, a unique bike. And there it is. All right, let's get over there. And that wraps up tonight's video with the Ricoh GR3 in Atlanta. You guys guessed it, my favorite photo was the dude smoking a cigarette on his break. It was one of the first photos that I took to start out the night and I even knew it then that that would be my favorite. If you guys wanna see more of the Ricoh GR3, here's a video featuring uh, the setting straight out of camera or if you wanna check out the negative film preset, which is pretty cool, one of my favorite presets, click this video right here and remember to subscribe to the channel to come with me on more street photography channel videos, journeys. It's late, it's really late. I know I look tired. Okay, see you guys later. Thanks for hanging out.